of all, man, congratulations. Uh, tell me your feelings right now uh, as a Clemson grad. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a blessing. Um, first of my family to graduate, so it's definitely a huge milestone for me and my family. Um, I'm proud I was able to do it at Clemson. What's um, what's the plan now for you? Uh, you, you you're going to... I know you're looking into like the NBA stuff like that. So how does that work right now, and what's what's going to be different than maybe what it was for Amir last year? Um, so really, right now, what I'm doing is just um, getting feedback from the uh, NBA. Um, really, I've just been working out in Charlotte um, with a guy named Tamar. Good man. Uh, with a guy named uh, Tamar Slate, uh, really good guy. Um, right now, like I said, I'm just looking for feedback, um, being able to work with pro guys, and just kind of take my game to another level for my upcoming year. Do you think that you'll be able to um, maybe, you know, maybe ch change, change, get an opportunity maybe in Europe or something like that after you get done with these workouts? What what do you think opportunities you might get? Uh, yeah, so like, uh, well, really what it is, I'm just trying to like weigh all, all my options. Um, I've definitely, I've definitely decided to go to, to Charlotte um, uh, in, the, in, the, in the fall or whatever just to play my last grad year. But I'm um, just being able to work out like with the pro guys and things like that, like on my own, was the really reason why I entered the process and getting that feedback from team. So a lot of fans have asked me this, and so I said when I talk to them personally, I'll ask them. Mm -hmm. They want to know why you decided to go to Charlotte if you decided to come back instead of staying at Clemson and doing the fifth year. Oh yeah, I mean I just wanted something new. Um, you know, I left Clemson. I left Clemson on a great mark. I feel like. And, um, I feel like I didn't really, I really didn't have anything else to, you know, prove at Clemson. Um, me and Coach Barnett have a great relationship. I have a great relationship with everybody in Clemson. I just felt like it was the next part of my, you know, my journey. So I, me and my parents, my parents, we prayed on it and talked about it, and we felt that as though I need to move on. So. Amir had a um, a tweet the other day about Coach B and what he, Coach Brownell meant to him. What, what's your thoughts on Coach and? and has he kind of been tacked a little unfairly somewhat on social media here the last week or so? Um, I, Coach Barnell is a great guy. Um, he's definitely been a, a mentor and a leader in my life. Um, I appreciate everything that he's done for me and things that I don't know that he's done for me. Um, I think that Coach Barnell, it, it's, he's a coach, so he's always going to be in the, in, in the limelight whether he's doing good or bad. So I think he, he's, a, he's a great person and he, he knows how to handle, how to handle things the right way. So. For you, I asked him here the same question. When basketball's over and you and you start working, what is it? You got a communications degree, right? Mm -hmm. What what's next for you after basketball's over? Um, really, I, I really don't know yet. Um, I, I kind of want to stay close to the sport. Um, I don't think I really want to be a coach, but uh, you do what I do. <laughs> yeah, either that or I, I kind of want to be like a sports agent, maybe. Um, okay. A little bit more schooling, probably. But that's that's an avenue that I've been thinking about as well. So. All right, I can see it, man. Yeah, yeah I can see sure. that. I can see it. Cool, dude. Hey, thanks Thank so, much so much for you, man. I appreciate it.